In Iraq, despite this Thanksgiving holiday, American soldiers are still risking their lives. There has been some bad publicity about inappropriate behavior by Americans in Iraq, but on tonight's segment two, one Bay Area soldier gives us a view that is much different. He is just back from Iraq where he was not only fighting, but also building and recording what he saw in pictures and photographs. So are you ready for this mission? I'm ready to roll. The sights and sounds of war are familiar to us all by now, but war from a distance is nothing like the real thing. That battle's been raging about, what, half hour now? An hour? Probably an hour. But don't worry, Mom, I'm eating well. <laughs> well, not really. <laughs> While thousands of American soldiers are fighting insurgents day and night, many are also providing humanitarian aid. One of those soldiers is Staff Sergeant Chris Lavero. These are the images that Chris wants Americans to see on this Thanksgiving, and these are the images that he pushes to the forefront whenever the horrors of war become too overwhelming. Well, some of the most intelligent people I've ever encountered were in the military. We try not to focus on politics when we're over there. And we try and focus on doing our mission and getting each other back safely from the mission and, and just trying to do the right thing. One of the many things they did was to build schools and housing for displaced Iraqis. They are Arabs whom Saddam Hussein moved into Kurdish territory in northern Iraq. After the U.S. invasion, the Kurds reclaimed their land, and the Arabs ended up here in Mosul. They were living in bombed-out buildings, basically, with no electricity, no water. Um, and when we got there in the winter, uh, we found the children walking around with no shoes on, the families didn't have enough blankets. We built approximately um, about 100 plus housing units for families. Um, we built an 18 classroom school. We helped renovate and supply a few dozen schools in the area. All of the while, he and others in his striker team searched for insurgents by night. They slept when they could, and when Chris began writing letters to home about the need, boxes arrived. And can you tell what was in this delivery? Lavero is a Berkeley police officer and will return to duty in a month after some R&R, &R, but his heart is still with the children in Mosul. Here, the children hold posters thanking those who donated school supplies, blankets, and clothing, and the children hold signs saying hello to Berkeley PD. Now when Chris thinks about war, it is not the bombings which often happened within yards of him or the killing he witnessed. He tries to focus on the kids and his hope that the American presence will somehow enhance their future. A positive piece, they say, is something, it's, it's a situation where there's not just the mere absence of violence, but there's the presence of social justice. And I think the way you do that in Iraq is you help create a government where all the different factions and parties and tribes can feel represented. When Lavero and his striker team heard about the abuses at Abu Ghraib prison... It killed us. It killed our spirit because, I mean, we so much wanted the world to know, hey, whatever that small group of individuals did, that they do not represent us. And we act, um, the striker brigade acts honorably. Um, they acted honorably th throughout their whole mission. Um, so I, I just don't want those isolated incidences to stain the, uh, the reputation that the rest of the military has. And I think another thing that the American public should know is that really is um, an anomaly. Chris and I wrote emails during his year in Iraq, and our conversations involve the children, the civilians, the car bombings, and what happens during night raids into the home of insurgents. You can imagine being in a situation where you're attacked almost on a daily basis. And then you go on a mission, the mission is to apprehend the people responsible. And that's a situation that potentially could be very ripe for abuse. Yet the striker brigade never crossed that line. One of the first things we do is try and reassure the family um, with translators, you know, hey, we're, we're looking for someone. If in fact someone in this family is somebody we're looking for, they will be treated fairly, they won't be harmed, they won't be tortured, they won't be abused. It's really hard to imagine any other military focusing so much on 
protecting civilians during missions, that um, that's quite a statement about us. And it's really something that the American people should know about um, and feel proud about. And his ultimate hope, the one thing that this Cal graduate who majored in conflict resolution wants more than anything is to believe what he did meant something. I hope that um, we've contributed to Iraq's future and that there can be a successful democracy. That's something that I'll, I'll keep with me the rest of my life. Chris Lavero is going back to Iraq, but this time to pick up children with medical problems, some of whom you saw in those pictures. California Pacific Medical Center in San Francisco has already agreed to give the children free medical care.